Well, I'd like to demonstrate the termination of our TRAD 600 cable. What I have here is an NMAIL. It's our TEZ 600 NMH D connector. This, this is one of our Advantage Series connectors. It's recently been redesigned. Four characteristics of this connector we have a composite coupling up half neural, half hex. We added ribs in the back, protruding ribs. So when we bring the shrink boot up, we have something to actually shrink around and bond to to provide a better weather seal, better strain relief. We've changed the plating from silver plate to trimetal plate. All, the trimetal plate has all the benefits of the silver but will not tarnish. And then we've added a chamfer in the cable entry area for ease of termination. So this is our standard LMR 600 connector taken out of the bag, comes with adhesive line boot and a crimp ferrule. Now, here's an important point. We're terminating the T-Rad 600 cable We're using a standard off-the-shelf LMR 600 EZ connector, but we want to replace this crimp ferrule. If you're working with the T-Rad cable, we've just at the point of, of, of uh, assigning a partner for this and getting this out in this distribution, but you want to come to us or come to one of our distributors and we'll sell special T-Rad crimp ferrules in packages of 10. This is one of the crimp ferrules. It looks almost identical. If you put them side by side, the outer diameter is identical. The T-Rad crimp ferrule has a smaller wall. What we're doing is we're crimping on the outer plastic of the jacket versus the braid, and that requires us to use a different wall crimp ferrule. So again, you use the standard connector, you take the uh, crimp ferrule and discard the crimp ferrule or save it for some other LMR 600 project. I'm going to make sure you're using the T-Rad 600 crimp ferrule. Now at this point, the first step in any good termination process is get a nice clean square cut in the cable. We have a cutting tool here, a CCT-01 cutting tool. All you do, place it over the cable, apply a little bit of pressure don't crush the cable with the blade, but a little pressure, and actually spin the tool around the cable. And what you're doing is you're scribing through the uh, jacket and the dielectric, and you're scribing that center conductor, and you're just going to actually snap off this piece of excess piece of cable, and get a nice clean square cut on the cable without crushing the cable. At this point, unfortunately, we don't have specific strip tools for the T-Rad cable. But what you want to do, and in the back of the bag, there's installation instructions, and they'll show you the length of strip for the center conductor, which is a quarter of an inch. If you want to use a scale or a ruler or a vernier, you just remove a quarter inch of material and expose the center conductor. Take a flat safety razor, just make a mark at a quarter of an inch, Rock that blade back and forth a little bit, and just gently work this blade right around the, the circumference of the cable until it meets up with the, uh, the cut on the other side there. Again, just rock it right around the cable, and then take this piece of uh, plastic and expose that center conductor, just like so. Next thing you want to do is you take the uh, DBT-U deburr tool. This is a great new tool that allows you to deburr LMR 185 all the way through LMR 600. Place it over the center connector and just a little bit of back and forth. You actually see a little copper chips flying away from the center connector and you remove all the burrs from the end of that center conductor. The next thing you want to do, and this does not have to be absolutely scientific in terms of the length, but roughly an eighth of an inch. Take, again, take your, take your flat razor and go back from the jacket about it, roughly about an eighth of an inch. Wrap the blade back and forth a little bit. And again, just work this uh, score of the jacket all the way around the circumference of the cable. Get one little cut in there so you get underneath it and just rip that, that eighth of an inch of material right off of the cable. Now once you've done this, you can actually see the drain wire in there. You pick up your razor once again, and you want to go back roughly about an inch, and you just, again, slightly score through the plastic jacket right along 
that drain wire. Then you're going to rip open that, uh, that cut there. Just peel that jacket away from the rest of the cable somewhat. You can work it from both directions. Okay, now at this point, maybe you should have done this even a little earlier in the, in the process, but you're going to take your adhesive line shrink boot, slide it over the cable, take your T-Rad 600 crimp ferrule, slide it over the cable. You're going to take your EZ 600 NMH-D connector. Again, it's got a special chamfer in the back for the little ease of termination. You want to get it underneath the jacket, underneath the drain wire, over the top of that outer conductor. So you just want to be a little careful how you get that started. You turn it and spin it and work onto the cable. At some point you're probably going to feel a little bit of resistance. That's those spring finger, beryllium copper spring fingers making contact with the center conductor. But you just continue to push and turn. And you're going to do that just until you make uh, the, the jacket butts up with the back ring of the connector. At that point, you take your, your special uh, T-Rad 600 ferrule, you push it all the way up to the back of the connector. At this point, you just want to take this, crimp it as if you're crimping LMR 600. You have an HX4 tool, it's a ratcheting tool. You apply pressure, you have to crimp it all the way down before the tool releases. So, you're going to see a little bit of that crimp for a flirt out in the back. You want to leave it just like it is. You don't want to double crimp it. You double crimp it, you're going to crimp the jacket, crush the foam, change the piece of the cable. At this point, you take your adhesive line, shrink boot, bring it all the way back up to the back of the coupling nut. You apply heat, electric heat gun or, or butane uh, heat gun. Shrink it all the way down until you see a lip of adhesive protruding out both sides. Of the shrimp. That's the termination.